My bad. Oh, I don't mind. I, I you, didn't. You do you. Because <laughs> for you to talk to somebody and, and not me to... And not me to say what I want to say. That's not right. Every human being have a right to say what they have to say. Is Interbay? Interbay Boulevard. Boulevard. Is that right? Yes, sir. I, I mean, I'm not. So this is all that happens in these kind of scenarios. Uh, what, what it comes down to, she's going to ask her if she wants you trespass or not. Right. If she, if, says, if she do, I don't she have does, a problem with then that. You just can't I'll... come back for like a year. They have, it's, it's good for it. But if he doesn't, then you could freely come back. It's no big deal. I don't have a problem with that. Either either way, you're free to go. You're I, like, I, I got a good not, lawyer, detained, Frank. I, not... I got a good lawyer, Frank Delgado. I got a good lawyer. What's your uh, phone number? Uh, 813-516-5156. Personally, I think this was probably a little farther than it had to go. But, this is... I, I don't think never we, seen we probably, nobody probably didn't need to be called out for this, but... Then she say I was belligerent. Belligerent, I thought it's when you be like, you motherfucker, you stupid ass bitch, yeah, you dumb ass hoe. Blah, blah, blah. That's, that's belligerent. Yeah. That's belligerent. Not one time did I use no profanity towards her. I told her, I kept saying, I, wh why can't you not, why can I not be seen? You, I kept icing her that. Like, why can I not be seen? I want you to leave. I want you to leave. For what? Why do you want me to leave so bad? What have I did? Like, what have I and did? The only, the only thing was, like what your, your point was at 9 30 and i got i was i was already in the building at, at like 9 40 but i was here really 9 36 but you know you got yeah, to get, get people you. your information and then you got to wait to be called then she wanted me to leave so bad but i hadn't even had my id and social security i mean my, i can say social security my id and my insurance card but you want me to leave so bad like i have never seen this in my whole life i have never then another lady talking about, oh, you want me to escort you out? Escort me out? I'm not a little kid. I don't need you to escort me out. I have two feet. I walked in here with two feet. I'm going to leave out with two feet. Oh, no. You call the police. I'm not going to leave without talking to the police. You, I don't care. That's with anybody. You never, Somebody call the police on you, you never leave. You wait for the police. You wait for the law. Yeah, you only get one side of the story. That's right. Yeah. It happens a lot. Like, I'm, you know, I just, I'm a firm believer in that. You treat people equally. Like, you call, in the midst of her calling me, I was still in the building. She was just going on and on. Well, your appointment's at 930. I told you. I called you. Yeah, you did call me the day before. But do you know how far I drove to get here? Do you know I was in the traffic at Hillsborough? I left my house at 8 o'clock. And I didn't get here till like, almost 930-something. That's a long drive. Yeah. And then, plus, I had to drop my kids off to school. And, plus, come here. And bought the traffic from West Shore. They try to get on the um, cross town for right down Kennedy yeah. and West Shore. Like, bro, I, I went through a lot to get here. I got a long, I got a little bit of a drive to get into work, and sometimes if mm. I hit the lights just right, it'll take me 25 minutes to get to work. But if I hit the lights just wrong, it could take me like 45 minutes. It's just a, it's just a weird little, yeah. And you had a, you had a long way to go, a lot of lights in the meantime, yeah. And the, and the sad part about it, it's like one cop, another cop, another cop. Another cop? Oh, shoot. Who's like this? three three cops for this because all three police cops, y'all. No, usually three. me, me and uh, my partner Shipley here, mm -hmm. Shipley. She's really nice. This is our zone. So yeah. It's normal for people to come in groups of two. So yeah. We, when, when we get a call, I go with her. Like... This guy, he's, uh, he's in the adjoining zone, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. probably, he's probably bored. Oh. That's probably what he is. Yeah. But like uh, I said, like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm human. Yeah. Sometimes I, like, if you if you knew me, and, like, this right here, this will calm me. Me, I can't, I don't gonna even lie, I'm gonna be straightforward. I can't get in that ignorant zone, but that's not me. That's not my character, you understand? Yeah. Especially when you're stepping out in the zone in the public. You want to conduct yourself in a respectable way. Yeah. But I don't want nobody calling the police on me and then I'm I don't left. No, I just wouldn't feel right. Huh? Like one cop, two cop, three cop. All because of she wanted me to leave because she wanted to say what she had to say and I wanted to say what I had to say 
and my appointment was at 9 30 and i got here at like 9 36 actually but the girl had already had my information in the midst of the lady calling me i was already in the building like i have listen i have never 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 seen this done like i'm at baycare um outpatient center at 12780 racetrack road tampa florida 33620 like i don't understand i don't understand like i just don't understand y'all um anybody that know me no i'm just like i'm in this shop right now I'm in this shop. I might as well have just committed a crime, but which that's not my tea, but we are serious. Thank you. I'm sorry you guys had to come out for here, but okay. I, I just felt that as a respectable citizen of the United States, you know what I'm saying? I am an American. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a black American. I wasn't finna leave here without talking to the law. That's just respectful. Okay. I'm sorry you met under these conditions. You know, and like I said, I did get here like 9.36. Yeah. My appointment was at 9.30, but like, bro, I, I don't mean to call you bro, but that's just like how it's I okay. talk. You're good. You're good. Bro, I went through a lot to get here from South Tampa from the base. That's where I stay and, over. And, and Lord knows at the appointment, they say 930, but the doctor doesn't see And she said she told me 915. Then. Ain't no way she told me 915 because I dropped my daughter off to school at 9, I mean at 830 at Monroe. And no way I would have been here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I made my appointment for 930. I have to drop off three sets of kids. I dropped one off at, I dropped two of them at Shermonti. Then I drop my second, I drop my baby off the daycare. Then I come, I can take my son to Robinson. Then I come, I can take Jesus. my daughter to Monroe. So how was I gonna, yeah. and I'm only one person, bro. I'm one place. person, yeah, I'm one person, and I'm mad. I'm, now I'm, I'm disappointed, bro, like, like, bro, I'm really disappointed. Like, I'm That's, really disappointed. They don't want you to trust them. Like, they understand that this is pretty much the only location that accommodates your appointments and whatever you need to do, but you're not showing constantly not showing up for appointments. she said i had five appointments i called so no i didn't miss five appointments i missed two appointments my kids had the quarantine like i'll have one child that come out for quarantine okay. then i'll have another child go back okay. then i'll have another child come back my okay. son go to robinson he quarantined for 10 days went back to school one day I, they had to quarantine again for 10 days like you know what i'm saying I, I, i'm I only one it. person life gets difficult like it's difficult especially if you have kids and everything i'm a mother of six if, oh god no. No, I can't Listen, if you know that you're not going to make it on time, give them a call. I did. I called and said I had to quarantine. She want me to come. Don't they say if you got court, if you got, you came in contact with um COVID, you're not supposed to go nowhere else. My children had to quarantine, so I have to stay in with them. I can't go just, out with the public. Just give them a call. Hey, I'm not coming because. I did. Okay. I did that, ma'am. You're going to get, I don't know if you have this card or no. No, I have the phone. number. Okay. Like, because I come here all the time. Okay. I've been coming here for years. Well, I got you another one, just in case you didn't have it. Mm -hmm. You can reschedule your appointment. Just usually how it works, even with my doctor, no matter that you're going to sit there for additional 35 minutes, show up 15 minutes before. That mm -hmm. way you can fill out paperwork and do all that stuff. Even though you're going to sit there for another 30, that's how it usually is with doctors. Unfortunately for all of us, we don't make the rules. I understand. But I have no problem with that, but... Like I said, I was leave, just, okay? I was just under the pressure, like, okay, it's my appointment's at 9.30, you know, I get that 15 minutes grace period, yeah. but Don't count it's on okay, it. Don't count on it. it's okay. okay, but I'm just real Not disappointed you. that she called the police, like, but I just wasn't finna leave without okay. talking to y'all. I'm pleasant to talk to. <laughs> no, you're beautiful. <laughs> she, she, uh, they don't want you trespassing or nothing, your name's not yeah. on any Nowhere. No, nobody's gonna even know we were talking, okay? I have no problem with that, it's a, I'm a star, my, my road number is 54. I ain't got no problem. Just, I'm gonna go home. Now I got to try to pick up and find something to do. It's okay. Like okay. when something happened in life, you pick up and keep going. Yeah. Thank y'all for coming. Yeah, Have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Like it was just only right that I stay here and talk to the law because if I had a left and not talk to the law, it would be a different, it would be a different thing. And it's only right. Like I can't do that. I can't do that. And like she, 
she said I was being belittled, y'all, and all this other stuff. I have never seen nobody call the law because I want to say what I have to say and she want to say what she have to say. This day has been awful. And she was like, you having a bad day. Well, technically right now, I'm not even having a bad day. If you know me and you know my attitude, this is like, I think I'm in the shocks. Like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in shock. Like, you literally called the police and said I was being for literature and all that. And I had not even used one cuss word to her. Not even one cuss word. This is what I had to go to today, y'all. So I'm just really like, I'm in this shock. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad because there's so much going on. And I wouldn't dare leave without talking to the law. I don't feel my, oh, I don't feel, I don't feel the AC. All right, y'all, I'm gonna drop the video. And actually, I can actually say, I came in contact with law enforcement at the sheriff's department out here. They, they was very respectful. They was nice to me. They wasn't nasty. And not all cops are bad cops. I can actually say that. All right, you guys, drop comments below and tell me what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and, 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 don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your girl Queen back with another video and my day has been growing. Thank y'all for looking and subscribing. Bye.